A good day beautiful soul family and welcome back to on another level and today um, I was just reading my Bible all right and what I got was so interesting okay so I opened it the first time and the title that I got was be thou my vision be thou my vision. What I get from that, the divine spirit is, is, you know, in, in Genesis, spoke into existence, had that vision, right? Let there be light, you know? And there was light and he saw it was good. And then it comes to the point, this is what the divine spirit is showing me, that he formed us, he faced us formed us everything is beautifully and wonderfully made and blew life into us breath and not only that we were made in divine spirit's image and likeness we're made to reflect right so when I see be thou my in be thou my ver my vision, be thou my vision is carry on the legacy, carry on the work. Not carry on the work that is in the world, not to be a template of the world, but to carry on my vision. See, because it was the vision of the Divine Spirit where light was born to existence, where He created all that came into existence from absolutely nothing. Okay, and so the thing about it, beautiful soul family, is that we are to carry on the legacy in the earth. Carrying on that baton, carrying on the inheritance in the spiritual and the physical plane. So then I turned here and it says, run with endurance. Running with endurance is not a fast, quick pace run. It's a jog. It's, it's a step up from walking. And so as we're running or jogging with endurance is understanding that as we are in this world, we are not of the world, we are of the earth. We are of the vice prayer. We are those who choose, okay? To go with them with self-love, self-care, self-nurture. Those who choose to understand the truth. Who build their the bridge of connection to divine spirit. Who knows that Jesus is. And my cats are going a little bit. <laughs> who knows that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. Divine spirit is telling me. It's that knowing. You know. It's like. It's not being numb, right? It's like, Divine Spirit, thank you for your love. Thank you for all that you have done and continue to do. Being able to say thank you. You can't say thank you if you're numb, you know? If you don't come to the awareness. And so. The Vice Spirit does things through the proper channels. Now God the Almighty can do all things. But chooses. Wisdom. Okay. And so we are created. In the same image and likeness. To carry on the legacy. To continue to reflect divine spirit. And we must run. Jog. With endurance. Now what gives us that endurance. What allows us to do such a great work. Is the Holy Spirit. Is to be rebirthed. To be cleansed out. The Holy Spirit. Perfect. The world can't perfect you. 
because the world is crooked. But here, Jesus is the source and the perfecter of our faith. And then God's word is life. And so as we are choosing to live, here it says, and I'm just going upon what the Vice Spirit shows me, says, be true vision. As it turns out, it is less strategy and more heartbeats. Being in tune with love. Being in tune with Divine Spirit because God is love. Here it says in, in 1 John, and, and I'm on a project right now, but here it says 1 John 4, 12 says, No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. And as it is being perfected in us, and we're moving forward, the body of Christ moving forward by the means of the Holy Spirit. We are able to carry on that legacy. And we're able to endure. Endure against the brutalities of the world. But no weapon that forms against us will prosper. Why will it not prosper? Because greater is the divine spirit that is within us. The Holy Spirit that is within us. Right? And not only that, but when you think about it, our ancestors, which is lying in your DNA, our ancestors have gone through so much. It doesn't matter what race. We've all grown, you know, it's so interesting. Um, so, in one of my books, <laughs> uh, I talk about how we are this beautiful rainbow. Each color of the rainbow is like each culture. And each culture has gone through so many different scenarios, situations. And as, as the seed is in the soil, the pressures come upon the soil, awakens it, develops it, strengthens as it continues to grow. Okay? And um, what I'm getting from this is that <laughs> as a body of Christ, right we are we have the holy spirit right but all of us has gone through so many different types of turmoils and we are strengthened and that strengthening part allows us to endure see all of us has gone through so many uh enslavement and we're able to learn, we're able to heal, we're able to move forward and able to still continue to be in that energy of love. Okay? And so because of that, we are able to endure. Because of divine spirit, we're able to endure. And we may say, well, why did we go through the situations? But the situations allow us to be immune, unshakable. And even in that sense, we are reflecting divine spirit because divine spirit is unshakable, unbreakable. So, this is beautiful. This is how we're able to endure. I hope this is recording because my thing is acting up. A beautiful soul fam, I just wanted to share this with you that we are, we are here. Be thou my vision. Carry it through. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Namaste.